When the market crashes, crypto plummets, and the news scares even experienced investors, stablecoins take center stage. They are the anchor of the cryptocurrency industry, but how do they work? Why are they stable? And is it true that USDT is now banned in Europe? Let's break it down. You're watching the Blockoria channel, where we make the complex understandable with analogies and examples. We appreciate your time. Subscribe so you don't miss out on new helpful videos. A stablecoin is a cryptocurrency whose exchange rate is pegged to a stable asset. Most often, this is the US dollar. The idea is simple. In a world where Bitcoin and altcoins can fluctuate by 10% in a day, stablecoins maintain a stable price. One stablecoin X goes on $1. It's like a lifeline in the stormy crypto sea. You can sell a volatile token and park it in a stablecoin until the storm subsides. What are the different types of stablecoins and how do they work? There are several types of stablecoins. The main difference is in how stability is ensured. Fiat-backed, centralized. Each stablecoin issued is supposedly backed by a real dollar or equivalent in a bank account. Analogy? Imagine that you have tokens and each one can be exchanged for $1 in a safe. The tokens circulate on the market, but their value depends on trust in the safe. Disadvantage? Trust. You have to believe that the issuer really has this money. Crypto-backed, de decentralized. Here, instead of dollars, the reserve is made up of crypto, Ethereum, stable coins, tokens. It works through smart contracts and over-collateralization. The advantage is decentralization. The disadvantage is the risk of a fall in the price of the collateral. Algorithmic stable coins. They have no reserves. Their exchange rate is supported by algorithms and economic incentives. Looks good on paper, but unstable in reality. Example, in 2022, UST lost its peg to the dollar and crashed the entire market. Why are stable coins important for the crypto industry? They allow you to exit volatile assets without returning to fiat. They are used in DeFi, staking, farming, loans, they are used in trading as a base pair. They are convenient for transferring money without banks. Stable coins are like gasoline for the DeFi economy. Without them, most protocols simply do not work. USDT ban in the European Union. What happened? In 2024, the European Union passed the MyCA law, the world's first major regulatory package for crypto assets. It came into force on July 1, 2024, and now exchanges operating in the EU are not allowed to use unauthorized stablecoins. USDT did not pass registration under the new rules, and therefore some major exchanges began to exclude USDT from the European market. Why is this important? USDT is the most popular stablecoin in the world, with a market capitalization of over $100 billion. Restricting access to it could hamper trading, reduce liquidity, and affect DeFi protocols in the EU. It's like if PayPal were suddenly banned in the Eurozone. There would be consequences, but a replacement is also possible. What will the consequences be? Growth USDC, of USDC and European, European stablecoins. Circle, Circle is already preparing to file fiesta. documents with the EU. Projects, Projects pegged, pegged to the euro are also moving forward. Decreased forward. liquidity in some trading pairs. If exchanges, exchanges stop using Europe, USDT trader, in Europe, traders will have to switch to alternatives. Rost, Growth of decentralized stablecoins. Stable if regulators put pressure on centralized tokens, tokens users will start looking for decentralized alternatives. Risk of market fragmentation. If yes, USDT shot, dominates in the US, 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 or Europe's stablecoins dominate the EU, this could complicate cross-blockchain cross -blockchain and global DeFi operations. Interesting fact. Stablecoins equals digital dollars for the whole world. In many countries with inflation or currency controls, people use USDT as a substitute for the dollar. In Turkey, Argentina, and Nigeria, stablecoins are a way to preserve savings. People store their salaries, rent, and savings in crypto dollars.
Analogy. When your national train is rushing down a cliff, stable coins become a safe transfer to a stable car. How to check the reliability of a stable coin in three steps. Check the collateral. Are there real reserves behind the token? For centralized stable coins, look for audits and reports. How much they have in their accounts. What exactly they hold as reserves. Cash, bonds, etc. Look at who is behind the project. Is it a proven company or a no-name? USDC is issued by Circle, which is regulated in the U.S. An anonymous issuer with no address or name is a risk. Check the history of deviations from the exchange rate. Have there been cases when the token lost its peg to the dollar? If so, look for reasons and conclusions. A reliable stablecoin is not only a stable exchange rate, but also transparency, a team, reputation, and exchange support. Hidden risks of stablecoins that few people talk about. Even the most popular stablecoins carry hidden threats. Legal risks. Regulators can freeze the issuer's accounts or impose restrictions. Bank dependency. Many stablecoins keep their reserves in traditional banks, and those are not eternal. Centralization. The issuer can freeze the wallet by court order or on its own. There have already been examples of this. Human factor. Mistakes, incompetence, or even fraud can destroy trust. Analogy. A stable coin is like an inflated life preserver. It stays afloat, but if you puncture it, all stability disappears. What will happen if stable coins disappear? Let's imagine a hypothetical scenario. All stable coins have disappeared or become unavailable. DeFi will stop. Most protocols will not be able to operate without a stable pair. Panic will ensue. Investors will not be able to park their assets in stable coins when the market crashes. Liquidity will decline. Trading will become difficult and volatile. The adoption of CBDCs will accelerate. Governments will take advantage of the chaos to promote their digital currencies. This scenario is unlikely, but it highlights how critical stablecoins are to the modern crypto economy. What is important to remember when working with stablecoins? Stablecoin 100% guarantee. There have been cases of peg losses. Always check how the token is backed and who is behind it. Diversify. Don't keep everything in one stablecoin. Keep an eye on news and regulations in your country. Conclusion. Stablecoins are the foundation of the crypto economy. They provide stability in an unstable environment, allow you to participate in DeFi, transfer money, and preserve value. But in 25, they face a new challenge, regulation. Those who manage to adapt will become the standard of the next era of crypto finance. Write in the comments and subscribe so you don't miss the analysis of the next trends. Thank you for watching Blockeria. Our goal is to make the world of cryptocurrencies easier to understand in order to accelerate its development. With your support, we will be able to create new high-quality videos, making crypto education accessible to everyone. If you like our project, support us by donating. It's an investment in your knowledge and the world of the future will be better. We're happy to share our partner's referral links with you. By using these links, you may receive bonuses, prizes, and commission discounts.